Welcome back to Visual Learners. Today, we are spotlighting the woman at the forefront of its next great revolution, Fei Fei Li and her billion dollar startup, World Labs. If you thought large language models were the pinnacle of AI, think again. There's a new frontier on the horizon, spatial intelligence. Fei Fei Li's story begins in Chengdu, China, where she was born in 1976. Moving to the United States at the age of 16, Fei Fei faced a new culture, language, and challenges. Yet, her passion for learning and science propelled her forward. She would go on to earn her bachelor's degree in physics from Princeton University, and then pursue a PhD in electrical engineering at Caltech. But it was during her time at Stanford University as a professor that Fei Fei would become a groundbreaking innovator in artificial intelligence. Fei Fei Li is best known for creating ImageNet, the massive dataset that revolutionized AI. ImageNet helped train AI systems to see by giving them access to millions of labeled images. This leap in computer vision enabled applications in everything from self-driving cars to medical diagnostics. Her work didn't just end with ImageNet. As the director of Stanford's AI lab, Fei Fei spearheaded research into human-centered AI, emphasizing the ethical development of artificial intelligence. She also co-founded AI for All, a nonprofit aimed at increasing diversity in AI by encouraging underrepresented groups to pursue careers in this field. Visual spatial intelligence is so fundamental. It's as fundamental as language. We've got these ingredients, compute, deeper understanding of data, and we've got some advancement of algorithms. We are in the right moment to really make a bet and to focus and just unlock that. Now, Fei Fei is pushing AI into new dimensions, literally. The next frontier after large language models? Large world models. This is where spatial intelligence comes into play. Unlike traditional AI, which excels in understanding language or images, spatial intelligence allows AI to understand and navigate physical environments. Imagine an AI that can perceive not just what's in front of it but the entire space around it, comprehending depth, distance, and movement, making decisions in real time just like a human. This has vast implications for robotics, self-driving cars, drones, and even augmented reality. It's about giving AI the ability to interact with the physical world just as smoothly as humans do. Fei Fei's latest venture, World Labs, is at the cutting edge of this new AI evolution. Recently valued at over $1 billion, World Labs is dedicated to building large-scale models for spatial intelligence. The company is assembling a team of the brightest minds in AI, robotics, and neuroscience to create systems that truly understand the complexities of the real world. Alongside Fei Fei Li, the World Labs team includes some of the top researchers from Stanford and MIT, as well as AI veterans from companies like Google and Tesla. Their goal? To take AI beyond understanding what things are, to understanding where things are and how they interact in the world around them. Spatial intelligence will change how robots perform in factories, how autonomous vehicles navigate cities, and even how virtual worlds are built. As Fei Fei Li and her team at World Labs continue to push boundaries, they're paving the way for AI systems that can interact with the world just like us. Fei Fei Li's vision for AI is far from finished, and we're excited to see what's next. Fei Fei Li, known as the godmother of AI, just raised $230 million for her new startup, World Lab. This company aims to build AI that understands how the 3D world works, not just flat images or tech. The goal? To develop spatial intelligence that could transform AR, VR, and robotics. World Labs will train large world models using synthetic and real-world data. They'll use the same transformer-based tech behind OpenAI's ChatGPT, but with added elements to avoid common AI mistakes, like drawing hands with the wrong number of fingers. Investors like Andreessen Horowitz, Intel, and NVIDIA are all in, betting big on this tech. Lee, famous for her groundbreaking work on ImageNet, is pushing AI to think more like humans do, understanding space and structure. With this startup, she's not just shaping the future of AI, She's setting the stage for AI to truly understand our world. What could that mean for the future? We're about to find out. What was it like raising funds as an academic, now entering this private world to be raising money? You've been in private world before, but to raise funds, was it easy from this star-studded list? 
Uh, good morning, Caroline. It's really good to be here. Uh, well, nothing is easy, but what's really, really hard is make spatial intelligence happen. I'm just so excited that uh, we brought together a um, incredible group of uh, Pixel AI, AI talents to work on this really, really hard problem that we now call spatial intelligence. Explain to us what you mean uh, when you say spatial intelligence and what is it that you're building exactly? Yeah, uh, Rachel, well, look, humans have spatial intelligence. It's actually a very ancient uh, ability we have evolved over millions and millions of years. It's the ability to uh, understand, to reason, to generate, and to even interact in a 3D world, right? Whether you're looking at a beautiful flower or trying to uh, touch a butterfly or building a city, uh, all this is part of the capability of spatial intelligence. We see that with humans and we see that with animals. How do you expect that we'll see that with computers? Well, that's the problem we're working on. We're already starting to make tremendous progress. Um, the past uh, decade of AI has been pretty exhilarating, and uh, people hear a lot about language recently, but truly in the world of pixels and vision and spatial intelligence, we've been making progress such as understanding what's in the picture, to be able to tell a story of what's in the picture, to even prompting a, a sentence and get a 2D image out of it. But what's really the next frontier, which is such a hard problem to crack, is to bring all this into 3D, because the real world is 3D, and humans' spatial intelligence is built upon this very native capability of understanding and uh, uh, working with 3D. So, What do you think about this new frontier in AI? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode of Visual Learners.